here is how do you focus on performance and motivation? How do you get people to want to do I mean, some of you are in tough businesses. You know, we like to think ours is tough too. You're out dealing with people who are getting ready to go catch a flight. They're trying to get home. It rains. It snows. The car is ready. The car is not ready. You get lost. There's a lot of stress associated with this business. So how do you find ways, and, and I'm sure all of you have had experiences where something terrible happened and you needed somebody to help you out. And you probably remember those companies where that associate went above and beyond. So the key for us is how do we motivate these folks that have tough jobs, and oh, by the way, if any of you guys are flying in or out of San Francisco, you should ask some of the folks how long they've been there at the counter. I, I did when I first started. And we, we um, for employees that are with us for 25 years, we give them a Rolex. And um, so I go to the counter and I said, how long have you ladies been here? And they all just kind of put, put their hand up and showed me their watch. And, um, but to have them for 25, 30, I, I even had, I even had, we had somebody that retired after 45 years. Um, one of the, one, I have a picture of us when we were on the balcony of Wall Street getting the company all public and we invited um, this lady from Newark, uh, Jean, who has been with the company for I think 47 years and she was wearing a pin. I said, where'd you get that pin? She said, Warren Avis gave it to me back in like 62. And she was still wearing the pin that Warren Avis gave her back in 62. Morning. Um, I got an email. The email was a CEO of a small company was traveling and, um, and was, um, he left his PDA in the car. His whole life. You know that commercial where the guy has no briefcase, just walks in the airport? So he calls the airport in a panic, gets the manager. The manager says, I got it. CEO comes back. You know, they, the associates hear that, he's, that the CEO's coming, they come running out, they greet the CEO, they give him his PDA, and the CEO of this company said, I'm a customer for life. You guys got me. And it's those kinds of things that also set the expectation, because it's about performance. It's about customers. That sets the expectation. So now in Tampa, in California, wherever you are, you're saying, you know what, we're going to do the same thing.